Hello folks, I have graduated from Nebulosity to Sequence Generator Pro and so far I really like it. I'm doing, I'm using my uh, ZWO Mono camera today because it looks like I'm going to have a lot of clear skies to play around with and you can see the way I've set this up, my target today is M81 and you can see if you look at the way I set this up I'm doing one minute exposures for each filter and someone told me the best way to combat light pollution is to take shorter exposures and just do more of them. So I I would have normally tried to do um, three minutes on this galaxy, but now I'm only going to do one minute. But I'm hoping if I can collect maybe five hours of data on it at least, it'll make up for the fact that I'm doing shorter exposures. We'll have to see. Um, and <clears throat> I, I don't know if I'm doing this the way other people would recommend, but I chose this first option to rate, rotate through the events. That way I'm going to take one picture of my luminance, uh, well, I have two of my luminance because I want to double up on the luminance, then one of the red, then one of the green, then blue, and then it'll start over again with luminance. And that way if the skies do go bad, I, I don't just wind up with one filter or two filters. I've got something of everything, and that way I can still play around with the data, see how it's looking. I like that approach, and you can see the single raw image doesn't really show much in this, but I did get a chance to stack the first eight luminance pictures that came through. And let's... Now, <laughs> it doesn't look great. I didn't put in any calibration frames yet, but if, you, if I do a zoom in, this is only eight minutes of data, and I can already see, I don't know if you can see it in the video, I can already start to make out the spiral arms. And if this is only eight minutes... I'm confident I'm going to pick up some good stuff if I can stick with five hours. Because this object is going to stay five hours on the east side of the meridian. So I'll be done maybe at 7 o'clock now or 7.30. I'll probably be done around midnight. And that's all I got. Oh, let, let's go back. Let's just take a look at my guiding. Come on, PhD2. I'm using a... I'm using a new laptop now, and you can see I tried to upgrade. <laughs> I tried to upgrade to Windows Pro, Windows 10 Pro. I thought I could use the same key as on my, my old laptop, and Microsoft let me use it when I installed it, and after it finished installing, it says, uh-uh, sorry, you got to activate, so that's going to cost me $200 to activate it. So I don't know if I'm going to bother it. It's, it still works without activating it. Um, the Windows, because I installed the new version of PHD2, it looks a little different. I can't get these windows to work the way I want. Um, so, but the guiding over here, this is what I really pay attention to. The tote RMS error is down near 0 .59, uh, 61. That's good enough for now. And I thought this is really cool. You can actually see both galaxies, both of Bode's galaxies. That's M81 there. And this is the Cigar Galaxy M82. And I'm doing one second refreshes. So this Lone Star Guide camera, this thing is really sensitive that you can do a one second refresh and see both galaxies. I'm impressed. So everything is going good so far. So we'll see how it all comes out. I'll see you later. Hello, folks. I am still at it. I just wanted to get a glimpse of my PhD2 guiding. And it's actually improved. Uh, since when I first started, down to about 0.51. That's probably near the best I've ever seen this mount perform, so I'm liking that. Although it does have an advantage that today that I'm pointing north and objects seem to move a little slower in the sky when you're pointing in that direction. Okay, that's all I had. I'll talk to you later. Oh, now it's down to dot four eight, four seven. Nice. See you later. Hello folks, it is now the next morning and my batch pre-processing has completed and these are what my masters look like. This is the red right here, I've got the green here, I've got the blue here, and the luminance. And luminance always seems to have a few extra flaws in it that the others don't have and I don't know if that's, maybe I'm still overexposed on the luminance. I gotta figure this problem out. Um, but I just wanted to show you uh, what they look like, and for each, uh, the RGB, it came out to, I did 50 exposures each on those, so that's 50 minutes each on those, and 103 minutes on luminance. So, 
I'm just going to work on the final image now and see how it goes. See you later.